Hi everyone. So today in topic, you are going to create a habitat background for your silhouette animal. So like last lesson, we made our silhouettes of our animals from either the North Pole or the South Pole. So today we are going to be making a habitat for them. And remember, a habitat is the natural home or environment for an animal, plant or other organism. OK, so you could use chalk, pencils, pens, paint, collage materials, anything that you can think of. OK, so you've also, before you start making, got to think about where your animal would be. OK, so would it be in the sea? Would it be on land or by the water's edge? OK, and when you're done, you can stick your silhouette animal on. And if you've coloured it in, then obviously the black side needs to be showing. So I have done a seal. So the first thing I'm going to think about is where my seal might be. I'm thinking near the water's edge. OK, because when you look up pictures of seals, they're normally right by the water because they can swim, but they all also sit next to the water on land. So I have got a shoebox lid. And what I've done first is I've put a piece of blue paper and stuck it to the background. So that is going to be my background. Now, because my animal is by the water, I'm also going to make the floor to show the water. So I've got this piece of card and I've stuck a piece of white paper to it. And it's going to fit nicely inside here, so like this. But for now, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do for the background. So for the background, I can imagine there might be some mountains. So I'm going to get my glue stick and here are some mountains or some white mountains I've cut out earlier. And I'm going to stick them on my picture. Mm, I think that one goes in the middle. And there's a smaller mountain. here and then my final mountain stick on because seals apparently can live in the north pole or the south pole okay so there are some animals like penguins and polar bears like we talked about before that live in the south pole or the north pole and they don't live in both but some animals do and seals are one of them so I've done my mountains on my backdrop and I've also got this cotton wool material and I'm going to stick them to the top of my mountains so it acts like snow. Now, print stick probably isn't the right one. I'm going to use PVA. Have some PVA glue to the side. I'm going to stick, sticky, stick my snow on top of my mountains. Here we are, and then one more. Here we are. I've stuck my snow on the top. You might want to draw some snowflakes in the background. It's up to you. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put that to one side over here, and I'm going to do my floor. So the first thing I'm going to add is some of my my cotton wool material again because. It's going to act like the snow on the on the ground. So let's put some PVA glue on here. I'll do it with my finger. Here we are. Stick it on like so. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the water. So we talked about before seals being on the water's edge. So I've got some tissue paper here. Now I'm going to stick my tissue paper here to make the water. So I scrunch it up a little bit, stick it in my PVA glue and stick it on. Over here. I like using tissue paper because it makes it look like the water's rippled. So 
like I said before, you can use chalk, pens, pencils, or some materials, like collage materials like I'm using. It's up to you how you create your habitat background for your silhouette animal. Yeah, flatten it down a bit. Okay, so this is my water. Something else I'm going to add as well, I've got some cellophane. Okay, and I'm gonna add it to the top. I'm gonna put some glue on the corners. Now don't worry if you can see the glue because it's going to, I'm gonna tuck it round. It's going to dry clear. There we are, There's, and it makes the water look shiny. Now I might want to add some snowballs next to the water's edge. There we are. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to add it to my backdrop. And then I'm going to stick my silhouette on. Now my seal is a little bit big for my backdrop. So you might want to even make another one so that it matches. So I'm going to add my seal onto my backdrop. Okay, and I'm going to show you from a different angle. Okay, so that's your task for today. Here we are. You might want to add some more detail on the backdrop. So that's my water and there's my seal. Okay, so that's your task for today. You're going to make a habitat background for your silhouette animal. Well done, everyone. See you soon.